Hi. We were called uh, uh, video and filmmaking as psychotherapy research and practice, and there's uh, a whole tradition of uh, using films as part of psychotherapy. So we're, we're going to be applying that to a new uh, project that's in collaboration with Pure Mental Health and Think and Brain. I'll let you introduce them. Yeah, sure. So hi, uh, David Eli Israelian. Uh, co-founder of Pain and Brain and founder of Pure Mental Health. It's an uh, it's arts and tech media um, rehabilitation uh, vocational program. So we are supporting uh, the Tay population transitioning age youth between the ages of 18 and 29 to uh, support them in getting the training they'll need to have sustainable jobs. When we talk about mental illness, we usually talk about things like symptoms and impairment and, and challenges. Then we think about therapy and psychiatry and all these different ways to intervene with trying to minimize the symptoms of mental illness. But I think that the most important and most challenging aspect of mental health challenges is actually about the social communication. Pain and Brain is a platform on which people with mental health challenges can really sort of show themselves off to the world and demonstrate that they're worth hearing and worth listening to. We became a nonprofit just two years ago in 2017. But what we've always operated on is this idea that if you can get a group of people together around an art project, they will naturally form connections and social bonds with each other. And so our main service that we provide to Los Angeles is by offering art groups as a service. We've also diversified into tech and media. Graphic design, web development, coding, front-end development, app development, search engine optimization, social media marketing, and photojournalism. Well, we're very excited to be offering our tech training program. People that have homelessness, mental health issues, they sign in for a program and they basically learn how to code and we do what we can to get them job ready. For many people that have lived experiences with mental health, those things could be a huge barrier for anyone trying to get back into getting a job. We're actually producing our own model of workforce development where we can actually say, having a mental illness is not a verdict on life. In uh, careers for media and tech, uh, we teach them how to build websites, social media marketing, uh, and we get into doing, um, uh, and also uh, journalistic writing um, and photojournalism. So we want to empower the mental health community of youth to voice you know, their stories and to build different solutions uh, that can uh, help their peers. So it's coming from them. 